burden of the Salish Sea curriculum is the Whatcom County affiliate of the nonprofit Pacific Shellfish Institute, which is based in Olympia. We have worked to support students and teachers since 2012 with a shellfish-based K-12 curriculum aligned with the Next Generation Science Standards. Hi everyone, today we are at Birch Bay State Park to give you a virtual field trip. My name is Lindsay Parker and I'm here today with Catherine to show you the fifth part of our Birch Bay State Park series. Let's take a moment to recognize where we are. The Coast Salish peoples have a saying, when the tide is out, the table is set. The Coast Salish people rely on the natural resources of the Salish Sea and have been stewards of this land and the traditional and customary fishing grounds for thousands of years, and they continue to rely on these resources today. Both Birch Bay State Park and Drayton Harbor are important Whatcom County shellfish protection districts with recreational and commercial shellfish resources. Here are some tips for how you can be a good steward while exploring the intertidal zone. For more details on these tips, visit our Family Beach Exploration Guide. Okay. So this is an ochre sea star, and they are a very common species around here. They're very uh, rough textured. They've got all these little bumps on them. And they have this center circle, which is called a madreporite. And it's basically like a trap door that opens and closes to allow water into the body of the sea star. And that water goes down a central tube which then makes a rain all the way around the body of a sea star and branches into each arm to control the two feet movement on the bottom. So these sea stars, they're predators. They like to crawl around on the substrate floor on the sea sand, and they like to pry open clams and anything that they can get those two feet into to rip it apart. But then what's really cool is the sea star, it actually takes its stomach and it pushes its stomach outside of its body and engulfs the whole clam and sucks the insides back into the inside of the sea star. The sea stars also have been in danger lately from a disease called sea star wasting disease. And a team of scientists have discovered that there's a virus in the water that attacks the sea star tissue. And it basically makes this rough, hard texture really soft and squishy, and the sea star starts to fall apart. And that's not good because one, we love our sea stars and our sea stars, they're those predators that control a lot of our other animals on the beach. So if we lose our sea stars, those animals that they might eat up like barnacles and clams, they can start to grow in abundance and take over the other places of the beach that other animals might need to live. So we wanna be really careful to monitor our sea stars and make sure that they're safe from that sea star wasting disease. Visit our website at gardensalishsea.org for more virtual beach walks, family activities throughout the summer and fall, and sign up for our newsletter. You can also take the Salish Sea Challenge, which has ideas for keeping our watershed healthy.